Okay, so here's another question uh, that I think uh, I know is going to show up lots of places. In this case, um, I'm assuming that this is going to show up on the, as a multiple choice question on the AP Calc exam AB, uh, and therefore you may or may not have a calculator. So if you don't have a calculator, if it's not in the calculator section, then how would you do this? Well, the first thing I would do is just a little recognition. So it says here, write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 2 at x equals 0. So the first thing I would say is, uh, hopefully we can agree that we're going to need to find f prime, right? So we're going to need to find f prime and x. The form that it's in right here, some of you would be looking at saying, oh, I'll use the quotient rule. This is not a quotient rule problem, is it? So is there another way to rewrite this? So first thing we do is just try to recognize what rule you might use. So recognize here. So I'm going to recognize that this can be rewritten as f of x is equal to x squared plus 2 to the negative first power. Um, if this is bothering you, please watch my video or somebody else's video on um, negative exponents because I think that will make it really, really clear. But let's assume that you're with me now. Now what I'm going to ask myself is what rule will I use? So what rule? So what rule? Chain rule, right? So I'm going to use the chain rule. Um, so the way I'm going to look at this is this. I'm going to say, well, f prime and x. First thing I'm going to do is take the derivative of the outside part. So by the outside part, what I'm suggesting to you is that there are these two parts to this equation. There's the outside part. That's this one right here. Right? And then there's the inside part. So I'm going to take the derivative of the outside part first. So I have negative 1 times this is negative 1. Right? I'm just going to put a negative sign, negative. I'm going to put the inside piece back where it was. x squared plus 2 is the inside part, isn't it? Now I'm taking the derivative of the outside part, so we multiply this times here, and there's that negative sign, and then we're going to decrement this exponent by 1, so we're going to decrease it by 1, so negative 1 minus 1, be careful and patient, is negative 2, isn't it? Well, that's not a good negative 2, though. Is negative 2, isn't it? And now what we want is we want to know what's the derivative of the inside. So what is the derivative of x squared plus 2? And I think we agree it's 2x here. So let, let's recap this for a second. What we have here, this whole piece right here, is f prime at g of x. f prime at g of x, that is to say, the derivative of the outside part. This part right here is g prime at x, right, times g prime at x. And by definition, that's what the chain rule is, right? Okay, so we use the chain rule here. So now we have our derivative is all right, so 2x, so we have negative 2x, don't we? That's this negative sign right here times the 2x, right? All over, right, because I'm going to use what we know about negative exponents here and say x squared plus 2 to the second power. And this is f prime at x, isn't it? f prime at x, right? Did I do all that right? I think I did. I think I did. Okay. And now we want to know, and we're looking at this where x is 0, right? So here x is 0 is negative 2 times 0. I'm taking f prime at 0, right? f prime at 0. So is that, right? We have 0 squared plus 2, quantity squared. Look, none of this matters except for making sure that the bottom doesn't go to 0 also. But this is going to be 0, so f prime at 0 is equal to zero, isn't it? All right. Uh, the other thing that I need to know is this, right? So here's our, right? Because we're asked to find a tangent line. To find a tangent line, we have to have the slope. So here's our slope, right? But remember, we also need, we're looking at this, we also need to be able to figure this out, right? We also need to, we also need to get this. We need y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1, isn't it? We know that x sub 1, the x value that they gave us, is 0, right? Is 0 here, isn't it? We know that we found the derivative here, and the derivative here was, I'm sorry, the slope here was 0. So that's this 0 right here, isn't it? Now the question is, what's this y sub 1 value? Well, how to find that is go to, to your equation and find f of 0, not f prime at 0, f of 0 to get the other point. So that takes us back up here, doesn't it? So we take f of 0, which is 1 over 0 squared plus 2, isn't it? Which is 1 half. Are you with me on this? Okay. 
Okay, good. So we found that this value right here is one half by going, we just did direct substitution. Direct substitution. Right? This whole thing goes just so we have y minus one half equals zero. Y equals one half. This is really, really interesting because the equation for the line tangent to that to our original function is this. This is the equation of the line tangent for line tangent to f of x at x is equal to 0. All right? So hopefully that was helpful. These are the kind of problems that you're going to see on the multiple choice. And you don't have to show this work. You just have to know how to work your way through it. Remember, recognize how things can be rewritten. Figure out which rule you're going to use and start moving, okay? You can definitely, definitely do this.